17% of 5 to 8 year olds play games every day. 67% of them own home consoles. 24% own handheld consoles. 27% own educational gaming devices. And boys are only slightly more likely to be gamers than girls. As we enter the moment where children's interactions with technology in general, and games in particular, happens at an earlier age and with greater frequency, we must begin to look at how the educational mechanics set up within the games themselves have taught them the basics of gameplay. The truth is that this process may be familiar to some of us. Good games facilitate the learning of mechanics in much the same way that many of us facilitate the learning of writing. We point students in a specific direction or towards a specific topic and allow them to run with it. In the same way that the gamer here is able to hit the escape key in order to bring up the menu and get some additional help, we, are, we as writing instructors serve as our students' escape keys. We are there during office hours, conferences, late night emails, etc. to answer questions, offer advice, and what have you. We are there to lead them into a whole new world or various genres of writing and research. And when they get a little stuck, we are there to offer a small bit of guidance in terms of how to best proceed. In our writing classes, we often start students out with writing in genres that they may be perceive as being a little easier. We often start with personal narratives, reviews, and letters to the editor before we move to longer research-based assignments that will often ask them to use the skills that they have learned when working on the earlier assignments as building blocks for more complex assignments. So, while we ask them to run in the first assignment, for example, a personal narrative, it will quite possibly be something that many of our students may already know how to do. And by the time they get to the second assignment, we will ask them to run and jump, all the time telling them how to get the best elevation, aka pushing the space bar. And by the time they get to the third assignment, we can feel comfortable throwing some climbing and shimmying into the mix. Oftentimes, by the time they get to the major assignment and course, we kind of let them go and give them the opportunity to play around with what it is that they have learned up to this point. We give them the chance to play with rhetorical tools and tricks in order for them to best find their own way or their own solution to a problem. Even some new problems or issues that they may not have encountered before. And like this little guy here, students do have a chance to make mistakes, learn from them, and move forward. While we don't give our students a magic shift key, we can give them magical drafts and revisions. We can give them the opportunity to play in the experience and to try different angles until they come up with just the one that gets them to where they want to be. So, if all of these things are so familiar to us, and I am so sure that they will help us to become better writing teachers, what's the big deal? It's engagement. Gamers will oftentimes spend hours, days, weeks, and even months working towards a goal or a solution within a game. The same does not always hold true for the burgeoning writer. She can quite quickly grow frustrated and rage quit her writing task in a fraction of the time that she will spend attempting to solve an equally difficult problem in-game. Video games and video game pedagogy, for want of a better term, are things that we may want to pay close attention to. While games have been seen as devoid of usefulness, as a waste of time, the time has come for us to realize that these things are a big part of the lives of our students from a very young age, and that we should be willing and able to teach composition with, through, and or as a video game. Games, leaderboards, competition systems, and achievement systems are a good place to start as long as they are integrated with critical thought and knowledge of the medium and are just a start. Games are rich texts that can not only serve as a means for students to analyze the world around them, but as a text for teachers to analyze as model teaching and engagement tools.